Hey guys, welcome back to today's Well Spent. In today's video, we're going to finish filling up the raised bed that we got from Vigo Garden. It's been about a month since we put it together. We've been adding compost to it. Um, fresh compost has been chopped really small. We're going to finish adding our raised bed soil and then start planting in it. All right, so what we're putting in here is an organic raised bed mix. And again, this is going on top of the uh, compost that we put in here. We've been putting in over the last few weeks. I think that's enough. I think it's enough too. Because we definitely want to make sure that we leave room. We're going to plant and then we're going to mulch it. So for this bed, I'm going to do a companion type bed. So I'm going to have three Roma tomatoes, and then I'm going to put some basil and some parsley in here. So we're going to get started spacing out the tomatoes. We like to plant our tomatoes deep. And then I can put the basil and parsley in several different spots. So these are Roma tomatoes that we started from seedlings inside back at the beginning of the year. I'm going to turn it upside down, squeeze it. You want to be gentle. Now one of the cool things about tomatoes is they will grow roots all along their stem. So the deeper you bury it, the bigger of a root system you're going to have. And I'm going to do the same thing in the other two spots. Make sure that I leave my tag, even though I know all three of these are going to be Roma tomatoes. Again, I'm going to bury a good portion of the stem. And now these are indeterminate tomatoes, which means they will keep growing. So I'm going to grab some tomato cages and place on these. And then I'll take you through the process of how to get this to stop growing in height when they get a little bit bigger. Basically, we're gonna pinch the top once it gets to a height that we like. Now I'm going to go get our parsley, plant our parsley in here, and then scatter some basil seeds. Give it a good water and it'll be ready to go. So 
I've got a couple of parsley plants that I started inside. And then I've got one really pretty looking basil and then this one kind of got covered up by the parsley so it's not looking quite as good but it's going to recover really quickly getting it out here. What I'm going to do is this half is going to be the parsley and this half will be the basil. And then as the tomatoes grow, this area gets a fair amount of sun. As the tomatoes grow, they're going to provide some shade to the parsley and basil and prevent them from burning, thus giving us a longer crop. And we like to save and clean and reuse all of our pots. We've got a video on how to sanitize your pots at the end of the season. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. And then we've got our basil seeds. I'm just going to lightly scatter them. By doing a mix of seeds and plants that are already started, that's going to give us more more growth time in them and we'll be able to harvest throughout the year. Now Scott's going to go ahead and give this a good water with some water from our rain barrels and then I'm going to mulch it. Living in Texas, really anywhere, it's really important that you do mulch your soil. That's going to help you conserve your water and give you a healthier plant. So this is just a plain, non-decorative bark chip mulch. We like to use that because there's nothing added going into the soil, which obviously eventually goes into the soil, it's going to go into the plant, and we're going to consume it. If you're unsure about mulch and the purposes of it, we do have an article, I'll link to it down in the description, that talks about the importance of mulch and how to choose mulch and how deep to go with your mulch. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is the Vigo raised bed. It's the six in one. Um, really looking forward to trying out a raised bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you didn't see our earlier video, I'll leave a link to it. It just talks about how to build the raised bed and get started. That'll be down in the description. Be sure to visit dayswellspent.com and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.